I'm just trying to get my life together. What is happening here? What is happening? I just laid down and put him to sleep. Oh my gosh. What's happening here? What's happening? It's not funny. It's not funny. You think it's so funny. <laughs> you guys, I just laid with him, put him to sleep, and then tried to change my clothes because I feel like I'm on here looking like a hobo. I'm in a cleaning mood and I'm not in the mood to dress. You just don't dress up when you're cleaning. I just want to point out, like if you guys are new here, I am just a regular schmegular mom. I don't want to be on YouTube pretending to be something that I'm not. Coming on here looking like I am about to take a photo shoot while I'm cleaning, that is just not me. I am about getting up, putting myself together. That's a good thing because it's, I also want to promote that when you're a mom, you want to take care of yourself. You don't want to be in that phase where you're just like in a rut. But does it mean that you have to get up and put yourself together wearing like fancy? clothes absolutely not so anyways I went to go change out of my little t-shirt put it on black like I'm going to a funeral all over again because that's what I wear all the time and I'm gonna try to tackle this task but this little man is awake again anyways we're just gonna pretend that he's not awake for a few minutes I'm gonna hopefully he doesn't cry and he'll give me the time to get some of what I'm trying to get done before taking our little break or whatever I was trying to show you guys that I have this one little dress here that I really really love it's a dress that I actually wore too when I was pregnant because it has such a lot of stretch if you guys don't know I'm Canadian but I did take a trip to the US and I picked it up when we were I think at Macy's or no I think it was uh TJ Maxx. I love this dress, but I realized that I the loop came out of on one side. So let's see if I can put it in. I'm going to try it using a hairpin. If you're a real seamstress, you might cringe at this because generally you want to use like maybe like a, a pin or something. But I'm going to go and try this. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to start by, uh, I don't know. This what I'm doing is makeshift. Why are my hands always so ashy? Gosh, lotion. Okay, is that better? Yeah, I just put face cream on them, but that's okay. I'm sure it works. Same thing. Anyways, now they're greasy and they can't work. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to hook it on it like this and hopefully we can push it through the thing, right? Easier said than done, right? Okay, okay. Is it working? Is it working, Timmy? I think it's working. I think it's working. Okay. Yo, yo, I did it, I did it. Ah! I did it, I fixed it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh. I fixed it the wrong way. So, I technically should have pushed it through this end to go through here. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. So now it can tie in the appropriate place. Because I just hang it in my closet, I kind of do a little hoop like this. Like a big chunky thing. Gives it room to hang up on a hanger like this. And voila, you've got a nice dress. This one I'm going to keep. This one I really love. It not only looks nice on me, but like I said, when I got baby bumps, they also look nice in it too. Not, <laughs> there's, no <laughs> there's no hidden message there. I was just making a point. Yeah, the spot to hang this up is not exactly there, but I am just trying to tuck the dresses over here in the corner. All the while, I got my boots just tucked in the corner there, my uh, boots that I was showing you guys the other day. And then we're going to go through here real quick before I hang up anything else. I think it's smart to go through and maybe pull out some of the maternity clothes. Okay. Welcome to my closet. I feel like y'all have never been in here like this because there was no space to move. So now I debate putting the cart backpack that I have in the washroom. It's like in there just linked up to the side. I'm just like, isn't that the whole point of a walk-in closet? 
but this feels really good and roomy. I feel like I could like do modeling in here for you guys. Okay, that's not the good angle. Yes, welcome to my closet. Okay, let's see. Maternity clothes, where are you? Jump out at me real quick. One. Oh, I almost whacked myself in the face. These maternity dresses were cute. And trust me, they got their wear. Got them for hecka cheap too, like half price. No, I think 40% off when time maternity was a thing. Oh my gosh. I live... I literally broke that hanger. I am so strong. Okay. My walking exercises are paying off. That's broken. Do we have a sped? Oh, no. What am I doing? So, <laughs> welcome to the, an episode of me talking to myself. I think I always try to crop these things out of vlogs. Let me set you all straight. Because our vlogs are so short, you don't hear a lot of me chatting to myself. But I do sometimes. Anyways, I bought this nice dress for um, when I was pregnant. I took... A couple pictures on it on Instagram. I just tried it on and I took pictures that very night. I tried it on. Tags are still on. Never wore it. But it's so cute and I actually think it would look good when it's not maternity. So I'm not going to take this one out of the closet because that is why I invested in it. I thought it would actually still look nice after one is pregnant. That's not hoarding, right? Every now and again, I'm glancing at the little man over there. Let's take a peep at him. What's he doing? What in the world is he doing? You know what? He's good. He's safe. He's quiet. Not complaining. This was cute. This one was cute while it lasted. This is a nice maternity top, but I found that it just fit really weird in the shoulders. So as much as I love the top itself, I didn't always love exposing my arms because my arms is part of the, it's a part of the area where I gained the most weight when I was pregnant. It wasn't the most like flattering top. Oh, this is cute. I really love this as a maternity dress, but I also feel like I could wear this when I'm not pregnant. But the problem is, it is huge. So, why do I have? Why am I taking these things out on the hanger and leaving the hanger? I should take the hangers off. Doing my walking exercises at home. Oh, this is such a cute one. Do y'all remember when the kids bought this for me? They bought this with a matching skirt. Well, they didn't technically buy it. They went to shop for me because I went maternity shopping, and they chose my outfit. This was one of the tops they chose and it was really cute because they chose something really really pink it's like pink lemonade top which looked cute on me i won't deny but it's just not generally me as you can see i wear black i own a lot of black my paternity fashion brought out like a different side of me because i end up wearing a lot more color than i typically would wear this was a cute wrap top but it only lasted for such a short time it didn't last very long so cute oh this was cute i only had i only wore this for sh like one time twice maybe because i got it closer towards the end of my pregnancy am i doing good or what guys you see my closet slowly um come getting undone when we're done i should have a lot of space to put up a lot of other things check out this dress this was such a cute dress i took some really nice pictures in it uh this was like my first non-stretch it has a little bit of stretch but it was like a really cute fitted dress i wonder if i could wear this outside of pregnancy or like how would it look probably not gonna wear this again <laughs> overalls and I'm really wondering if I could wear them any other time because they're so soft but I don't want to keep them around if I'm not going to wear them because like I said the girls decluttering right is it going to make me look fat when I'm just not okay I don't even know what I'm trying to say is it going to make me look fatter even though that is what I am and I'm not pregnant <laughs> I think I'm gonna hold on to them. I'm gonna try them outside of my closet and see if I like them. If I, if they fit, I'm gonna keep those around. They're just way too comfy to not wear. 
and honestly i don't know if i'm going down prego lane ever again we'll have to see but these maternity overalls these were an investment but i also didn't wear them because i found those ones and they were so comfy the other ones were just jean material and if you guys don't notice i don't wear a lot of jeans so i don't know where i was going with that one baby boy's out there super content y'all he is just chilling like a little villain sitting there watching his hands <laughs> It's so cute when they can entertain themselves at that stage because when you're a mom it is so hard sometimes to find a, the time to especially when they're little to get things done they're at the stage where I mean you can't use just the TV to distract them you know and that's not something that I really vouch for either but sometimes you have to use it like right now I've got Zoe downstairs um, she's with her sisters and I told them to put an alpha block for her and if you don't know what that is it is just like a um, It's just a show for Little kids and it teaches them the phonetic version of the alphabet like of each sound of each letter Which is exactly what we want because that's how we're teaching Zoe how to read so It just you know makes sense. I don't like to start the day off with TV ever but sometimes I have to because I'm just like, if I don't do it, when the heck is this project going to get done? I've been struggling. I've been on the struggle bus for ages trying to get it done. And it just seems like I'm never going to get it done. And it's blocking the way I'm literally going to break my neck trying to walk from my bedroom to the bathroom. Wow. Look at all the free space. Wow, y'all, just check out this big chunk of space that I just freed up. And I'm going to go through real quick. I think I still have more maternity. Like, look at this. Maternity. Look at this. Maternity. Yes. No hesitation in getting rid. Oh, this is maternity. This is a maternity fitted dress. Is it going to be? Yeah, because it has extra fabric in the sides, even though it's fitted. I am trying to lose weight, not gain weight to fill stuff like that out. You guys, I also want to point out that um, after I'm done going through all the maternity clothes, I'm also going to go through and kind of take out things that I know I'm not wearing or that I haven't worn in ages because there's just no point in holding on to it. Like, look at this. This is such a cute top. I spent all this money on it at Guess. I thought I really liked it and I think I still do. It's just that I don't iron. I don't want to iron. So... <laughs> It always just kind of sits there because unless it's prepared to go and then unless my body's also prepared to go because as much as it looks like it covers everything your arms are out and you got to have those guns be looking nice like I mean they look nice right now look they're getting better they're getting better so you know it's either one thing or the next and bless you baby I can hear you from here I really really like it so I've chosen not to get rid of it but I've honestly had this in my closet for like 10 years I'm not even a front about 10 years this is another one of those dresses. I had this, I wore this for about five years ago, but obviously I've had two kids since then. So I've got, I have a lot of, um, it's got an open back, but I always wear like shrugs and stuff like that. I have had two kids since then. So I now have extra weight to lose and just, you know, more body, yaddy, yaddy to tighten up. So love these, love these, love this. Oh gosh, what the heck? I have this in here for like those pant, you know those pant hangers, but they can be so annoying if you're not using them for the right thing, you don't have the right space, they just take up space, so I might just... Hi Booga Booga! I see you! I see you! Yeah! You're so sweet! <laughs> Y'all don't want to know what I did with that hanger. I just walked over to Hubby's side, I snuck it in his closet! What do those kids do? What are their, what are their dance moves? <laughs> Win it. Okay, I'm not even gonna try. I am 36. Let's leave that for the teeny boppers. But I snuck it in his closet, like in the corner. I'm like, he is never gonna see this. And besides, aren't those hangers designed for his type of clothes, anyways? Okay, now I'm just being stupid. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many stages to this. Ugh, so draining. What I got, I do have a giant pile. This is much bigger than it looks. That's one giant pile of maternity clothes, and I'm going to move that out into the maternity area because I'm going to have to still go through the bin to 
fold up and kind of assess because even though it's all maternity and it's going with the maternity stuff I don't know if I want to keep all that stuff maybe I should just dump it all with the maternity stuff and save going through the maternity things at some other time maybe that's what I should do I'm just I feel like in my head the process is so much easier than it is I'm like oh yeah I'm doing this and I'm just gonna put it over there and you want to kind of go through and get it all done but honestly you have to do it in stages like I said I'm a real mom and I do have a real little baby over there very much awake and yeah he's being good for me now <laughs> he's giving me 10 solid minutes while i'm still here wasting talking to, i'm okay i'm not wasting it talking to you guys i just want to really share real life with you because this is how it is for us moms <laughs> just just i want to be candid i'm not like that youtube mom that comes on here and acts like life is perfect we got it all together because it's not. I showed you my closet and that's a lot. I brought you all into my personal space and showed you my closet was literally falling apart. It needed help. And right now I'm trying to help it. And it's still falling apart. Because I'm still having to wait for hubby to do his part. But um, that's neither here nor there, is it? There's still a lot that I can do myself decluttering this jam. And I am. <laughs> yeah. Did I ever show you guys that I still, there are stuff down here too. This is where I keep my shoes. I've got these bins. I'm just trying to get my life together. You guys, someone wanted to come and say hello. Hello, say hey. Are you helping mommy clean up? Are you helping me clean up? I think not. Are you making it easier? In some ways, yeah, lots of snuggles, very nice, very nice. Anyways guys, I'm going to be taking a break once again, leaving the place, looking like a disaster, but hopefully I can come back to it. Not doing bad, huh? Yeah, I, I'm actually pretty proud of myself that I got that accomplished, so... Now I just need to kind of like purge some of the other stuff that I'm not going to wear. And that's going to be the hard part because these are things I actually know and love. Bought for some reason or another. <laughs> and for some reason didn't get around to wearing some of it. Maybe because I'm putting it off because I think when I lose weight it will fit. Or I don't know. All I know is for one reason or another, for very real reasons of course, <laughs> I have those things in my closet. There are a lot of them that are taking up space. There are a lot that I'm not wearing at the current moment. So I want to kind of get space back in there so I can see things and just keep what I'm really going to wear. 